Gaming Bolt presents 10 cool features you need to know before you buy Shadow of the Colossus PS4 Remake. One of the most beloved games of all time is now going to come to the PS4, with Shadow of the Colossus getting a full-fledged remake for the system. It looks absolutely glorious. I mean, it looked beautiful more than 12 years ago, too. The remake is in the works by Japan Studio and Bluepoint Games, and it'll be launching on February 6, 2018. In order to celebrate the launch, we present to you 10 cool features you need to know before you buy this game. Let's begin. The Colossi Triangles Colossi went from an average of approximately 20,000 triangles to around 250,000 triangles. Some were a lot more, such as the 16th Colossus came to almost 1 million total triangles. It runs on the original code. In an interview with Game Informer, technical director Peter Dalton revealed how code from the original game is being used here as well. Though the rendering systems and new animation systems are built by Bluepoint, the game is still pretty much running on the original's code under the hood. Quote, It's a balancing act of which systems do we keep from the original game and which systems do we replace. When it comes to rendering systems, those are completely Bluepoint customized technology pieces. When it comes to animations, there are whole new animation systems underneath the hood, but at the game level it's still the original game code that's running. The Environment All of the organic, natural elements in the world were manually placed by artists, ensuring a handcrafted quality experience throughout the game. Over 150,000 rock instances, 11,000 tree instances, and with other objects, over 290,000 instances in total. To create detailed environments, Bluepoint created an advanced method by which materials are layered together, and this allows artists to paint detail within the environment, creating believable transitions between biomes and increasing visual variety. The Engine At the renderer's core is a physically based rendering system that allows for realistic interactions between the lighting environment and the materials that describe the world. This lighting model is what allows the environments to believably transition from lush forests to dark interiors to sand-blown deserts. Post effects play an important part in creating the final image. Dynamic depth of field, motion blur, volumetric fog, light shafts, and advanced color grading were all used to generate the atmosphere that defines the mood for the game. PS4 Pro Support Bluepoint Games has revealed the support that PlayStation 4 Pro owners can take advantage of. The remake will have two modes, Cinematic, which is for 4K HDR displays and uses a dynamic 4K resolution at 30fps, and Performance, with a frame rate targeting 60fps. No New Bosses The original game, released for the PS2 by Fumito Ueda, is widely considered to be one of the greatest games ever made, even though it was a victim of its ambition, and bound and constrained by the technology of its time. The PS3 HD re-release fixed some of the issues in the original, such as its egregiously bad frame rate. but there has always been a lingering feeling that the game could blossom into something great on an entirely different level, if it was made with more sophisticated technology in mind. Hopefully the PS4 remake does exactly that. But if you are worried about it changing the core design of the game too much, don't be. Speaking to Eurogamer, Ueda revealed that while he does have some changes in mind for the remake, he isn't too confident that they will be implemented. He went on to add that the game, as it exists currently, with 16 colossi and nothing more, is alright as it is. Quote, In this game, there are 16 enemies, and there's a story about 16 enemies, he said. So to change this history, I don't think about changing this history, it's finished with 16 enemies, it's okay. It makes sense, he had a vision and the game is what the vision was. And who are we to argue with that vision, when it got us a game as memorable and unforgettable as Shadow of Colossus was? Photo Mode The upcoming Shadow of the Colossus remake on the PS4 will allow you to examine and appreciate this world even further. The game is already going to be the best that the title has ever looked, but additionally it will also be getting a photo mode. Bluepoint's art director Mark Skelton announced on the PlayStation blog, The thing that makes photo mode stand out is its power and flexibility, Skelton said. It's an entire photo adjustment suite built into the game for you. Everything that I had access to as the art director, you have access to as the player. You can start with a filter and adjust all the way down to color balancing the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Then, on top of that, control the depth of field ranges and amounts, in addition to the vignette. 
that is an amazing amount of control. So it sounds like it'll be a hugely powerful photo mode that'll let you enhance and appreciate the beauty of Shadow of the Colossus' world in your own way. And hopefully, once these photos start flooding social media, more people will look into this masterpiece that, in spite of its cachet, has often been ignored and underappreciated. Advanced Data Streaming Advanced data streaming and level of detail schemes are utilized to ensure that the maximum amount of detail surrounds the player. Texture streaming constantly monitors system resources and works to ensure that the highest available texture resolutions are always used. Level of detail, crossfading, and view distances have been optimized to ensure that the player is surrounded by detail, while creating a seamless world that is always streaming on demand with as few visible pops as possible. Colossi Fur Fur is such a critical part of the game, and has been engineered specifically for this project. Each strand is defined by artists through a set of texture maps that define various variables such as strand stiffness, length, color, flow direction, and an array of other parameters. These strands are then dynamically generated by the GPU and rendered onto the Colossus. That's correct, there is no physical geometry representing the fur. It is dynamically generated, textured, lit and simulated by the GPU. Special Edition Shadow of the Colossus will have a special edition on the PS4 with a steelbook collector's case, artist postcards, a printed manual, two custom PS4 themes, a physical world map, Colossi stickers, and a Colossi avatar set. There's also some digital content to unlock including the Ancient Bow, Cloak of Fate, and a Spotted Steed skin for aggro. Look for the special edition to retail for $49.99 when it releases on February 6, 2018 for PS4. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.